Idaho Garden Girl here. Um, it's the 17th of May, and so I was just going to give an update um, on what's been going on in the garden. Let me just turn this around. Row of strawberries is looking good. This is a bunch right, these are all Albion. And this bunch right here, um, I never did take the runners out of. I was going to take the runners out of there and put them in this section, but I never got that done. We'll see. This section right here used to be ever sweet, and they did horribly. So I uh, did replant this um, batch, this, this area, with the Albion. And then right down here, these are Quinault. And Quinault did terrible last year. It did absolutely terrible. And this year it looks really awesome. So um, it threw out lots of runners. And so I planted some of the runners here. And I'm going to give this one a chance. So right here we have Comfrey. I couldn't find Comfrey locally, so I had to order it. It came last fall um, as a, a root, just a bare root. And so I planted them here. And so I'm happy that that's uh, doing well. The rest of this bed, I think it's going to be, it's going to be either herbs or peppers. This whole row is either going to be herbs or peppers or a mixture. This row right here is going to be uh, cucurbit. It's going to be cucumbers, summer squash, and winter squash. And I don't have that bed cleaned out yet. That's going to be uh, tomatillos over there and probably uh, brassicas because this row right here is going to be tomatoes. This row right here that has the blooming brassicas is going to be tomatoes. And then I'm going to put the brassicas um, over in that row this year. So let's go take a look at the parsnips. I'm really thrilled. I have 23 parsnips coming up. I'm pretty excited about that. There's a bunch of them that didn't come up, but uh, anyway, um, this bed right here is where I'm going to put the snap peas. And um, so it's about ready to go. You can see my parsley is about is starting to bolt. So um, anyway, that's going to be blooming here pretty quick. Here's the rhubarb. It's good. It's still it's just huge. It's waist high, and it has another flower, a couple of little flower stalks, and I'm going to take those out. Um, but that's doing well. Here's the garlic. Garlic needs to be weeded, but it's waist high. I have like five varieties in here, and some of them aren't as tall as others, but they're about waist high. Let's go take a look at the lettuce. This bed is, needs to be weeded. Here's my salad bed. Uh, the peas that I take the shoots off of. The sprout the top uh, stems off of to add to the salad. Here's my spinach. It needs to be picked again. Here's chard and lettuce going absolutely crazy. And a few of my uh, spring onions are doing really well. So I'm really happy about that. And there's a couple of radishes down in here. So I'm pretty excited about that. Look at that. It needs to be pulled. So anyway, the last thing I wanted to show you was this project over here. Um, I think the last time I filmed it, it was just a bunch of timbers and some bags of soil laying here. So my plan is that this is where I'm going to put some uh, gooseberries and currants with the middle actually is going to be uh, bark mulch. So. Um, that's coming together. It's been a, a long time coming. It hasn't been made easy because I hurt my hip. But um, anyway, 
little steps, right? Tomato plants are ready to go out. This right here, these are tomatillos and ground cherries, and they're doing okay. This over here is peppers, lots of peppers. More peppers there. And here are the snap peas that are, the Amish snap peas are doing fantastic. These others, I mean, they're doing okay, but uh, the Cascadia, uh, less than, less than perfect, I would say. Not very many of them came up. Here are some more seedlings that are ready to go out. I've got some herbs, some basil and fennel and uh, dill, borage, and there's some uh, brassicas that need to go out. Here's some more spring onions and chard, brassicas, brassicas, brassicas. Lots to go out. There's some lettuce, more lettuce to go out. Cabbage, that's the early Jersey Wakefield that needs to go out. Parsley, right there. Lots of kale, different kinds of kale. There's my celery, some beets that didn't do very well. That was my fault. Some weak looking lettuce, I don't know if they'll do anything. Uh, like I said, there's uh, cabbage, beets, and lots more kale. So, lots to do. So, here are the gutter peas. I'm getting ready to plant them. But in case you uh, don't remember, um, I planted my pea seeds in these small sections of gutter. And now they're probably, I don't know, 8 inches tall, maybe 10 inches tall, and they need to be planted. And so what I'm going to be doing is just, I've already dug a trench, two trenches, and I've put some fertilizer in there. It's called, I don't know, it's just a, it's a uh, two, four, Three. It's a two, four, three. Uh, Guard Nature's uh, slow release uh, fertilizer. It's just uh, something that was on sale. So um, anyway, I am going to show you how I do that. And I learned this last year from other YouTube gardeners. So so I just have this tray or um, gutter full of peas and I set it with the end down and then just slide that section out right into the trench just like that and I'm going to go all the way down the row So basically, from start to finish, it took about, I don't know, eight minutes, maybe, to get that all done. So, this is why I really uh, like it, because it's, you know, you spend a little bit of time up front, but uh, when you have to get out there in the garden, it's very quick. And we're going to have some rain here for the next couple of days, so uh, this is the perfect time to get them in the ground. So, or in the raised bed as it is, anyway, in the soil. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that.